Hey guys, Lucas here for Live Electronic Music Tutorials. We're on the roll and this is episode 327. I'm going to make you some melodic breaks. I would like to say under 10 minutes, but I'm really working on to making those episodes in real time, of course, but as short as possible so you get the maximum bang for your time. The little time is important for some of us, for some of us, maybe less. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to roll into this episode. I'm going to make some break beat, I'm going to make a melody, make a bass line, have a little bit of an idea for a Reese bass. A Reese bass line, you know, it's like a really thick kind of fat bass line behind and the, the drums on top. Bit of an orb thing, little melody, maybe a pad. I think that's gonna be enough in 10 15 minutes. So let's speak no further. And of course, guys, every single episode that I do, there's a link below for the template. So what I do is I do this episode with you guys, get the idea down. After that, I do the mix down, I do the arrangement, I do everything so you can get the template. So the link below. And the track is playing right now. This is the track that I made after the process I just told you about, so... Ooh. Oh, I think, uh, sorry. The speakers were still on. So just this kit, Deep Blue. If you use Logic, maybe you know, maybe not, so... I'm just gonna press record here. Simple break, you know, basic for me. This is that kind of the most basic kind of pattern used over and over again. I know some people like to use some loops and stuff. Personally, no. No, oh, that was... Here. So this is like the basic start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and replicate this MIDI. I'm gonna go into my kick drum, which is the lower part here. Oh, I didn't do the right thing, I guess. Replicate the MIDI, I said, okay. Now I go into the kick drum here. I can go lower, maybe a bit higher. I'm gonna use the root key. The root key is G. I think I'll do E, because I like E a bit better. Let's say A. F, e. So obviously, if I do this for the kick drum, I will also do the same. I will tune every other instrument to this key or D. Why? I mean, it's a good question. Does it make a difference? I think it does. So that's that's like a basic start. Now I can delete this one here. A bit high. Control A, Option, Shift, and down. A whole octave at the time. Very useful. So now that you have that, I'm gonna go straight into a closed hat here, very quick. Drop some hats in there in the half beat. Place here on the half beat. I mean, it's about that, but more like this. Hi, oh, yeah, it's necessary at the half beat. I mean, depends on people. There's a lot of variation, but overall, this is what most people do. Sometimes you can have an open one, say on the last beat. However, with this drum machine, you see when the, the open hat hits, I cannot hear the closed one, which I don't like. So I like to do sometimes the open hat on a different drum machine. I'm just gonna do a quick, probably tom to to add. Uh, oop, that's not what I was looking for. Add a bit of depth. Put the tom, I would say, here, an octave lower. To add a little bit to the the groove. I will do an answer to this drum quickly. Not the same place of course they will put it here Let's look where is the root key of it. 
try to see where we are. Uh, maybe I can go a bit lower. Mm-hmm. See, so, I like this. Then I would add a simple clap here. Oh, that is a low clap. It's a nice clap, actually. A bit loud. A nice feel to it. Okay, now we have the beat and replicate it. Control Command R here. I'm gonna go into, of course, my favorite synth, which is Alchemy, of course, because I'm a Logic Pro fan, super fan. I tend to be a bit obsessive about brands and things. You know, personally, I wear only Nike shoes. It's a bit of a madness, you know, but I wear only also Nike running stuff for marathons. Yes, uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna find the Reese. There's two, I believe, in there. For a There's this team Reese, which is the one I think would do well for us. I would play the keys. So this is a Reese. You know what I'm talking about now. It's a bit complex to be honest with you guys, but it depends what I would say the chunk of the track would be based on. If it's only the bass that really dominate, that could work. If there's a lot of other element, maybe I'll I'll diminish it or I'll put it a bit more subdued. Like I said, I'm going fast, guys, so it's, it's, it's about getting things down. And, you know, if I practice well, guys, usually in 10, 15 minutes, I should be able to deliver something. Let's see where we're at. But nine minutes, woof, I'm gonna have to go a little bit faster than this to be able to deliver what I want. So I took the keys from the bass and I'm gonna use them as a chord, a trigger for the arpeggiator that I'm gonna create in one second. I think this arpeggiator should have somehow a flavor. So instead of, I think I'm gonna make it longer. Flavor in the sense that it's, it's not gonna be boring, I would say. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna take the arp from, from Logic, which I like. There's also a great arp in, in, uh, in Alchemy, but not for this time. something there, not, not with this Reese thing, I'm not sure. I 
actually I wanted to use instead of using this retro synth it's smoother Whoop. something more rolly something to be able to play with. Actually quite great. I'll take it. Here's a lead. Once we have a lead, of course, we're gonna design it. I like this flying tremolo here. Quite spacey, too much reverb. missing is to use our uh, kick drum here compress a synth so sidechain instrument kick to start. 
start and then uh, we'll see. but we'll, we'll fix that in a second. This here. gonna be it guys for this episode of your life at the chronic music tutorial this episode 27 if you want just one you have to watch